Hello ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start, we're going to look at the shuffleboard collision where we have an orange disc moving at 4.3 meters per second to the left and uh, colliding with an orange disc and the, uh, excuse me, colliding with a yellow disc and the orange disc makes a 30.9 degree um, angle um, after collision. So let's take a look at this problem. We uh, start with our orange disc. Oops, come on, brushes. Give me a brush. Give me an orange disc. It's moving at 4.3 meters per second. And we will call this velocity original orange. Um, it'll collide with a yellow disc, yellow shuffleboard disc, and it flies off. The orange disc flies off at an angle of angle theta orange is 30.9 degrees. And theta yellow is um, 90 degrees minus 30.9 degrees. So we don't have to calculate the actual value. You will find that out in a second here. And we want to find out the final velocity of the orange disk. Okay. We can use momentum conservation strictly. We have enough information. We don't have to invoke conservation of energy, although this is a perfectly elastic collision. We can write down that... Uh, and these are equal masses also, so we don't need to worry about mass. Mass times velocity is momentum, but since all the masses are equal, they'll all factor out. So velocity uh, original of the orange disk is going to equal velocity final orange, uh, cosine theta orange, plus velocity final yellow, uh, cosine theta yellow. Well, the cosine, because of this relationship, the cosine of theta yellow is the sine theta orange. So we can write this down. Plus, oops, cosine, i got to write cosine theta orange. And I think I better uh, put it on a new new line. Okay, now, the momentum, so that's the x momentum, momentum in the x direction, the momentum in the y direction, the momentum, because there's no original momentum in the y direction, the momentum of the orange puck going up is equal and opposite to the yellow puck going down. The momentum of the orange puck going up is V final orange times the sine of theta orange. The magnitude of the moment, and that has to equal in magnitude, even if it's vector wise, it's not equal in the sine, and that's where we can get messed up, by the way. So watch out, this is something to really watch out for. Um, the magnitudes do have to equal, though, so we can write that. Uh, v final orange sine theta orange is V final yellow sine theta yellow. Um, which is equal to V final yellow cosine theta orange. Now, we can solve for this and then substitute it in here. just by dividing through by both sides of this equation by cosine theta yellow, orange.
and of course cosine over the sine is the tangent. Okay, then we take this and substitute it in there. So we get uh, the original velocity of the orange disk equals the final velocity of the orange disk cosine theta orange um, plus now now we do the substitution velocity final orange disk tangent theta orange and then times another sine theta orange solve for VF0 the final of the orange disk is going to equal the original of the orange disk all over cosine theta orange plus tangent theta orange sine theta orange. Okay, let's bring up the calculator. Okay. So V original the orange disk is 4.3. Uh, we won't worry about that. We'll worry about the uh, denominator first. So 30.9 uh, times 30.9 uh, sine plus 30.9 cosine. There it is. Uh, that's all the denominator. I can hit the equal sign. There it is. And I'm going to store it. M store. And then I take uh, the orange disk, 4.3 divided by everything I stored equals 3.6896777, etc., etc. Answer. Let's compare that with our answer. So let's move this over here a bit and move our answer in. Ta-da! Same thing. Okay, that concludes it. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, this shows how to work this particular problem.